What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh fans? Platter McCards in the house, and as you know, Crystal Revenge has been out for, what, it came out on Friday, so it has been two days now, and people are picking up their singles left and right, and so I wanted to take a look at this article titled The 10 Cards Everybody Wants from Crystal Revenge, because there are actually a lot of good singles. I feel like this set is a little bit underrated in terms of uh, what it brings, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first of all, looks like at number 10, we got Leela and Artemis. So, if this card is special summon and you control a key skill monster, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So we got some nice destruction. During the main phase, if you do not control a key skill monster, quick effect, you can special summon one key skill monster from a graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except fiend monsters. I like this card pretty good. I'm pretty sure I pulled this, um, I know there's a couple of different link monsters for this archetype. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I pulled this as well, so I'm happy about that. Next, we got Artemis to Magisus Moon Maiden. I like this card and hyped reasonably. Uh, if another Magisus monster is normal and special summon, while well, you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can target one of those uh, monsters, equip this card you control to it. While this card is equipped to a monster, you can add one Magisus monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. You can only special summon one Artemis, I'm assuming, once per turn. So, really good searcher. That's justifiably so. Number nine, Chaos Space. This card is good for any really deck that you want to do a little bit of banishing it in. But I guess right now it's being used mostly in Bestial Dragon Link, and so it was definitely a good reprint. Um, however, um, this card can be used in a lot of different situations, I'd say. Uh, send one light and dark monster from your hand to the graveyard, add one light or dark monster that cannot be normal summon set from your deck to your hand with a level from four to eight. I was using this, I remember I was messing around back in the day, I had a Black Lesser Soldier deck. Obviously it wasn't the most meta competitive, but uh, it was a fun deck and I was using three of these in this deck. So definitely it has potential to be used in a lot of different situations. So this is definitely a card I would recommend you pick up because it is somewhat of a generic searcher as light or dark is, is pretty easy, you know, to, uh, to reach and find and um, yeah I would definitely say that this can have more and more potential going forward so I like this card overall plus oh I skipped over this part um, you can draw one card this is crazy it does let you draw a card so works nice chaos creator I'm so happy for this reprint because this thing was expensive and I think I pulled a couple of these in my uh, pack opening so cannot be normal summon set must be special summon from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard if you control this card that was special summoned from the hand you can target three banished monsters with different names special summon one of them you can, then you can place the the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order this was a card i really needed for my black Luster soldier deck a while back i never picked it up because it was freaking expensive and i'm glad that this got reprinted because now i can mess around with some dope stuff e and shuffle this is a dope card for both Elemental Hero and Neospatian Monster. Shuffle one Elemental Hero or Neospatian Monster you control into the deck, and if you do special summon one Elemental Hero or Neospatian Monster with a different name from your deck, you're probably going to be doing this with Stratos, or Stratos, sorry, I don't know why I called it that, but it's nice to be able to get rid of that Stratos after you've just taken advantage of its effect, so really, really good. Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard, shuffle from your graveyard into the deck, uh, either one Elemental Hero monster and one Neospatian monster, or one Elemental Heroes, uh, Neos, then draw one card. Oh, it has a draw effect too, I actually didn't even know that. That just makes it infinitely better. Yeah, I would definitely say this is justifiably hyped, good card. Next, Spirit of Neos, oh, I'm sorry, that's that's not that's not uh, part of it, that's just uh, the person's comments. Number seven, Royal Straight Slasher. Cannot be normal summon set, must first must be special summoned uh, with Royal Straight if you have all of Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight in your graveyard. You can send five monsters with different levels of one, two, three, four, and five from your hand and or deck to the graveyard, and if you destroy all cards your opponent controls, holy crap, when this card is destroyed by battle, you can target up to three Light Warrior monsters in your graveyard, special summon them. Okay, so it has the ability to recycle your Kings, Queens, and Jack's Knight. So I like this card overall. I didn't happen to pick it up. Uh, I prefer my my uh, deck, my Kings, Queen, Jack's Knight, to be able to summon Slifer. I do like it that way at uh, best. But uh, um, this is an option that can be used. And I think I'm, for now, going to stick to my Slifer build. Um, but this is an option. It's definitely a popular option if it's number seven on this list. Number six, F-Zero Utopic Draco Future. I just picked up this card. Must have for my uh, Utopia deck. So three Xyz monsters with the same rank except number monsters. This card's original rank is always treated as one. This card also treated as a Utopic Drake, uh, Future card. You can also XC summon this card by using number F-Zero Utopic Future. You control this material, transfers materials to this card. Cannot be sure of a battle or card effect. Once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can detach a material from this card, negate the activation, then if a monster is on the field, gain control of it. So really, really good card. 
has the ability to negate, plus you can body snatch a monster. This thing was really expensive back in the day. I was contemplating paying $30 for it just because it's such a freaking good card. But now it's 5 bucks. I think I picked it up around $3 actually, but seems to be closer to 5 now. So definitely I would say based on what we're seeing, might be worth picking up now because it, it's gonna it's probably going to go up in price. The Doodle Beast. Next, Doodle, Doodle Beast Stego. If you control no monsters or if all monsters you control are dinosaur monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Really good ability right there. This card is normal or special summon. You can add one Doodle Book Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Plus a searcher, then discard one card interesting uh you can only use each effect once per turn i think it's a really dope body to have on the field um it does enable if you're going to be doing like like i do if you have the scrap engine and whatnot it does have the ability to enable synchro plays plus you can also always just link it off if you please so i do like this card and i do run it at one for now uh doodle book uh is just uh just what you're gonna be searching off this thing next we got Celine and borolo savage dragon yes sir Celine, if this card is linked summon play spell counters on the field equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyard well an admion card is on the field your opponent cannot attack uh cannot where i lost my spot cannot target this card for attacks once per turn during the main phase quick effect you can remove three spell counters from your field special summon a spell caster monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position to the zone this card points to really good for special summoning spell casters pretty sure i've seen this in a couple different dark magician decks i've been against so i know it is a really do dope deck so or a dope card for pretty much any deck so it's good um next borrow savage dragon it's a it's a two four for number four I actually managed to pull this, so I'm happy about that. But um, this is another card that you'll see mostly being played in uh, Dragon Links right now, the updated uh, Bestial Dragon Link deck. Um, I like to run it personally in my Dragoonity deck because it just works really nice in there as well. Um, so it basically has the ability you can equip a Link monster, and then that basically gives you a uh, boost in attack and it lets you negate. So I think that's super dope. And much needed i think it's a little bit underrated right now but you don't you won't see too many decks i would say running this outside of maybe dragon links um but there it does it's, it's generic so it does have potential to be ran in a lot of different decks clockwork knight i like this card i really do um all face up monsters on the field become machine monsters machine monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense also machine monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense you can banish this card from your graveyard then discard one card add one earth machine monster from your deck to your hand you can uh use this effect uh clockwork knight once per turn this has potential to pop off some pretty good combos i would say especially when you're uh if you use it to search stuff like ancient gear box i think that's what it's called right once it's searched it'll basically let you rummage through your stuff and basically add a machine monster to your hand so i think this is a dope card it does have potential for some insane stuff it's not a field spell it's a continuous field uh continuous spell so that's interesting to me it's just, i don't know why i pointed that out it was just interesting next the toon cards yes sir i really really love that these were reprinted especially black Lusher soldier toon bookmark toon page flip and you guys have got to look at my toon deck profile because i feel like i did pretty good i did pretty good um but these cards are really really nostalgic people i know this one specifically and this one this one weren't technically used in in pegasus's duels um but it was nice that they got some support and this support is actually pretty decent it's not like meta relevant or anything but it's definitely support that you can mess around with and have a fun time so uh if you're interested in these cards they're cheaper now than they've ever been thanks to these reprints and i would say definitely like everyone else is picking them up are worth picking up uh, at number one, we got Axis Code Talker. Of course, this is the reprint everybody's been waiting for, and I'm surprised it's at 28 bucks right now. I think it was like 30 something, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It was. I, th I thought it was in the or, uh, the high 30s earlier. So it seems to be around uh, fluctuating downwards, which is weird because I thought it would be going upwards. So uh, sometimes the market is like that; it goes down and upwards, and it it'll happen. I, that's my theory. That's my big theory. Is it? It'll probably end up going up. I could be wrong. I could be right, but that's what I'm thinking. But this is rightfully is number one. This is probably what everyone was hyped about the most in this set. Um, that's what I was hyped about the most in this set. And then secondly, this is what I was hyped about the most in the set. So yeah, I would definitely say I agree with this article. Um, most people probably are interested in a lot of these cards but if you haven't taken a look at this set i would definitely recommend you do so because there are a lot of good singles even besides the top 10 list that we've just looked at but anyways guys this is platinum cards signing out for the day if you like what you see don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe and of course you can always let me know in the comments what cards are you most excited about in this set what cards are you least excited about and we will see you in the next video